And we're back. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. Norb here from AP Shield. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. This right now is part three of how to wrap the full front end of a brand new C8 Corvette Stingray. The first two videos, I've showed you how to wrap the full hood, also how to wrap the full front fender. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to wrap the full front bumper. I'll add the links to the videos prior in the description below. Um, front bumper on this car is pretty straightforward. It looks overly complicated, but really it's not that difficult. Um, same premises as it, uh, I guess uh, as the last ones. Again, this is my first one that I'm wrapping, so you guys are kind of learning the same way as I am. This is a beautiful thing about this industry is that it, it's always evolving. There's always new cars, new challenges. It's on how to wrap it and you know keep perfecting to make sure it's done properly. So what I'm gonna be doing with it, uh, again, just kind of looking at the shape of it, I'm gonna start off where the Chevy logo is, the Corvette logo. We're gonna start off from the center and work our way outward. So we're gonna work our way from the center of the logo. We're gonna work towards one headlight, we're gonna work towards the other headlight, and then from the headlight, we'll kind of stretch it out towards the fender, work our way down, hop on the other side, same thing, and then finish off with the inner piece uh, inside the air intakes over here. Uh, just to recap, we're using Expel Ultimate Plus paint protection film. The cutout that I'm using is provided by Expel DAP software. Um, I overextended all the edges by half an inch, at least that way it should be able to cover all the high impact areas and again, not leave any visible seams anywhere in the front end. Um, as requested by the customer, he wants everything done with the cutouts. So we're not taking any knives or blades to the paint itself and let's begin. Again, any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. All right, so now that we applied the film, Again, uh, prior to any film hitting the paint, I wanna, I can't stress it enough that the panel has to be thoroughly prepped, decontaminated. It has to be 100% flawless and perfect of any dirt or oils or sealants or waxes. Once we know that is good, we can start applying the film. So again, this is my first time applying paint protection film onto a Corvette C8. Never did one of these cars before. So let's see how difficult it really is. I'm kind of guessing that it's not going to be that difficult, but again, it all depends on experience and, uh, you know, patience. So like I said, what I'm going to, what I plan on doing is starting off from the Corvette logo and I'm going to work my way outward. So I'm going to start off from the center over here. I'm going to work my way out to one headlight. Then I'm going to work my way out to the other headlight, slightly stretching the film and then we'll start working our way below the headlights towards the fenders and wrapping around. So again, I know what I said earlier um, that I wanted to kind of work up towards the headlight, but again, this is the first time I'm actually working on one of these cars. So I'm trying to understand how the film wants to lay down with all the contours. So what I found is instead of stretching it little by little, I stretched it from the beginning of the headlight over here, all the way lining it up over here towards the fender and the headlight and the back of the bumper. That'll give it enough stretch across here to lay down properly. So we just squeegee all of the solution out. Um, I'm gonna repeat the same exact step on the other side. 
and then we'll keep on working. So right now, everything up until the top of the bumper here is wrapped. I'm gonna spray some slip underneath so it doesn't get too tacky. We don't want her to bite down too early. Let me just make sure all of this is sprayed down nicely. You know what, since I'm here, I'm just gonna finish off the bottom side. So now reading the film, I notice that there's two ugly fingers over here, one small one, one big one. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. So what I'm gonna do is hold the film right after the fingers and try pushing everything downwards so at least that way everything lines up and it gets stretched out nice and evenly without any tension anywhere. There we go. So it did require a little bit of stretch down there, but again, nothing out of the limitations of the film, I know that the film's gonna stay down, uh, stay on 100%. There we go. Now we're gonna move on to the other side. All right, so same thing again as the other side, uh, like I learned over there, is we're gonna take the film, I wanna make sure it hugs inside this body line or this divot inside the bumper very well. I'm just gonna simply line it up against the headlight and the back of the fender. So what I'm paying attention to is the line up along here, line up along here. You wanna make sure that's on nicely. And also we wanna make sure that this is still covering, that it doesn't hourglass in, it doesn't go or bow inside or wrap too much over. We want everything to be lined up. Again, the cutout for the Expel DAP is actually very, very, very accurate. I'm very impressed, but again, a lot of their newer stuff, I mean, is nothing but top notch. That's why I like using their cutouts. Again, bulking is probably the best bet, but with the accuracy fitment being this good, I don't see any sense of bulking a bumper like this. Um, unless you don't have access to, let's say, the DAP software or if your plotter breaks. Okay, so now we've got the upper portion of the bumper wrapped, and now we can move on to the lower little areas around the air dams. Very straightforward. What we have to make sure is that the alignment is gonna fall into place along this little like accent blade over here. I'm gonna spray some tack. Another good reference point is gonna be the edge over here. Make sure everything lines up. There's a little relief as well for the alignment. So we're just gonna literally line up the whole piece. We're gonna have to stretch it a little bit from here. And I mean, maybe about a quarter of an inch and that's all that's needed. Oh, very straightforward, a little bit of stretch. We just have to work the film in a, a little bit. And now, whatever I did on this side, I'm gonna do the exact same on the other side.
there we have it, all finished up. Uh, the bumper again wasn't that complicated to do. I thought it was gonna be a lot more challenging uh, looking at initial pictures and then actually laying the film on. I was pretty relieved that it's a pretty straightforward bumper to do. Uh, again, I kind of practiced on the passenger side, moved on to the driver's side. Everything came out flawless. All the trim pieces are on as well. All that's left to do is trim on, well not trim, but tuck all the edges around the wheel wells, um, inside the bonnet as well, and deliver the car back to the owner. Uh, overall, couldn't be happier with the outcome of the job. If there's any questions, hit me in the comments below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah.